What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeff, I'm the owner of RDR Gear here in Salt Lake City. If you don't know what we do at RDR, let me take a few minutes to share with you what we do. So we're a soft goods manufacturer primarily. We specialize in plate carriers, med kits, placards, chest rigs, a full line of professional grade canine gear, Cadex holsters, EDC belts, two-piece belts, quite a few things that are listed on our website at rdrgear.com. If you have questions on an order, a pending order, a future order, let us know. We'll get you hooked up. And that's info rdrholster.com is our business email. With all that out of the way, let's talk about two pistols that this past year, I think are two, some of the, two of the best pistols that were released this year, but also two pistols that had quite a bit of uh, negative press and backlash throughout the year. <clears throat> and that's the Springfield Prodigy. Recently, you guys saw the upgrade on the five inch Prodigy. And full disclosure, Springfield did send us this gun, um, and it's been running flawless since. We're just shy of a thousand on, or excuse me, we're just, we've hit a thousand on the uh, five inch, and we're just shy of a thousand on the four and a quarter. Uh, and this here has the Steiner. We did an update video on this setup, and I've left it a, this plating system here because I didn't uh, get another RMR plate and we'll talk about that here in a minute but uh, I want to see how long this is going to work so far it's still held everything's zero all the mounting system is the same everything's squared away no looseness no coming apart etc but the five inch has been phenomenal um, I've changed nothing internally uh, trigger guide rod uh, recoil spring nothing's been changed so far I've been purposely leaving it that way to see uh, if there anything does happen in the future. So the five inch Prodigy video is up on the YouTube channel. If you want to check that out, you're more than welcome to there. So the Prodigy, four and a quarter. This is the commander length gun that they make. Uh, the plate came in yesterday uh, in time for us to film today. And the plate was, it, it had been a hiccup. Uh, this gun being what it was and the popular that it was going to create I felt, in all honesty, this should have been ready to roll when the gun came out. This particular pistol did not get sent to me. This is what I purchased. Uh, I got this one the day of release from a local uh, store here in Utah. And I was shooting it with irons for since then, but I jumped on that website the same week that the pistols were released and ordered the RMR plate, and it came yesterday. So roughly, close to six months maybe, ballparkish. But um, I'm happy about that because I, in a pre when I did the video on this one the first time around, I misspoke saying the agency was producing the plates. That was not, it's just a license design from Agency Arms to Springfield Armory to produce the plates. The AOS plate is probably one of the best, most robust plates on the market right now. Uh, super well built, very robust, uh, and, and, and locks up super tight. <clears throat> I was just surprised that a gun of this popularity didn't have all the accessories out the gate. I do not know what other plates are gonna come uh, after the RMR. I would assume that there's going to be some others following uh, Delta Point, probably I would assume an acro plate. Um, I do not know how the acro plate will work. Probably the rear sight may get deleted or reduced in the thickness. Uh, so we'll see how all that plans out. I'm excited for the Prodigy uh, because this gun here is just get, getting pretty close to a thousand. Um, I have just, again, as I did in the five inch, maintained it with keeping the lube up. I've been using the gun butter. So if you guys are looking for a, a, an amazing lube, the gun butter works great because the needles on there allow you to put that lubricant right where you need it. And it's phenomenal. Um, these guns will be, I'll be surprised because I've been shooting them on the weekends here and there when I can with time and whatnot um, to see if the elements are going to make an issue here with these two pistols. Uh, shooting winter in 1911s in match times, I've shot them in the past. In the early mornings of a match when we're in those low teens, um, sometimes a gun can get a little sticky. Uh, the higher elevation you go here in Salt Lake or in Utah in general to shoot anything that's a fine-tuned pistol or has a tight tolerance, you can experience some uh, sluggish function on the pistol because of the cold and the air outside. So today wasn't too bad at all, but uh, 
was it, on Monday I got up around 8.30 and it was 10 degrees at my house. So where we shoot, it probably would have been maybe a couple degrees below that. Um, and the wind would have been an issue as well because we're kind of op in the open range there. Uh, so again, that can affect performance on the pistol. So again, just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, as I mentioned before, nothing's done to the gun yet. Everything stays the same with stock. Same thing with the five inch. I'll run these until I kind of see an issue. But as I mentioned, SHOT Show is three weeks away. Uh, we'll be heading down there. Chris and I will both be going down there. But I'm excited to see what comes from uh, Springfield because my, as I mentioned in the last video when I did re an initial review on these pistols is, this is going to be the forward movement of Springfield Armory in the single action pistols. I'm assuming they're still going to offer single stack of guns. They will keep the 1911 DS double stack. And if this is your first time seeing this video, the 1911 DS is for a double stacked magazine. This is a 17 round mag in a 2011 style body configuration. Um, and for those of you, just to recap, uh, 2011 has three components, a module, an actual frame, and then the slide. 1911 has two, a frame and a slide. So, but I liked the marketing and I'm assuming it's of a marketing play on Springfield is by saying 1911 DS, it kind of stays with the lineage of their history of making 1911 single action pistols. And now the future is double stack, right? The future going forward is a full new lineup of the Prodigy line. This one may be being considered like a like a GI model, so to speak, and now you're gonna have a enhanced, a loaded, a TRP series, all the way on up, and they'll have different configurations, different features, different function, et cetera. Um, and I'm sh excited to see at SHOT Show if any of those new pistols will be on display there, and we'll get some pictures of that kind of stuff. But I really like this gun. Um, there has been a, the turbulence of the initial hate and discontent with this one being compared to a staccato, it wasn't. It's its own gun. This is the launch point for anyone looking to get into a 2011. These are, I believe, $1,500 still, give or take, when you can find them. Uh, the Dura Mag has been doing well. I'm running different magazines uh, in both these pistols. Um, I did run the Dura Mag uh, in both guns, and I just ordered a few more. I don't think the mags are an issue whatsoever. Um, trigger, I know Red Dirt's doing some upgrades, options for the trigger. Um, there's some grip modules being done by, I believe it's Vulcan Gunworks and a couple other people as well. Chile, I think, is making a grip module as well. And basically the gun is a great way for you to get into a 2011 because by the time you bought this gun factory, if you bought <clears throat> everything you see here, red dot and a light, you're roughly going to be around $2,300. That's still less money than a staccato being at 25 to 26 plus your accessories, right? So at, at 2300, I think most people can, can accept that. When you're getting that $3,000 mark or 3000 plus for a production built pistol, that's where I think those who are doing their research online and then kind of asking questions to others who have 1911s, that's where it starts to get a little, little hectic or a little crazy, right? Because if you came to me and said, hey, Jeff, I'm gonna buy a staccato, and I'm getting an SRO, I'm getting the porting, I'm getting a weapon light, whatever. Or what's your total? I think 3500 $3, bucks. I'm going to tell you to stop, pump the brakes, and do some research and look at, say, like Alchemy Gunworks, right? And the product, or on the high cap, the Quantico high cap. I'm hoping that maybe next year, uh, I've talked to the guys over there several times that they would l release a Quantico high, high cap commander. I think that would be a hot gun for them. Um, a 4.4 length, 9 millimeter pistol uh, from uh, our Alchemy Custom Weaponry. I think that would be a huge one uh, for them because it would give you that one tier above custom pistol slash carry gun. So I think that's an option for them. But the Prodigy has been doing phenomenal. I'm super excited. I'm glad the plates finally came. This one has been uh, neglected a little bit, but now that it has the armor on here, this will get a lot more play. Um, I'll kind of tinker with it. I'll carry it a little bit, but um, the 1911 DS in both the 4.25 or 4. Point, was it 4.25? I think it is commander length and the five-inch gun. This one running the RMR with the factory OEM plate. This one running the standard MPS with kind of a hybrid conversion plate. 
that you can kind of get some information on this one here from our past video. Five inch gun, four and a quarter gun, but if you're looking for an entry level 2011, this is where it's at. If you've made it this far on the video and you wanna see more gun content like this channel and others, let's help train your YouTube algorithm to let you see more of what we do and what other companies do by liking, commenting, and most of all, subscribing to the channel. We'd love to see the subscription numbers increase, but by doing those things, you're gonna help your YouTube algorithms allow you to see more gun content like this channel and others like it. So as always, thanks for watching, guys. We post two of the videos every week on gear that we own, gear that we manufacture, gear that's sent to us. Until next time, be well, take care.